Hi guys, today I'm gonna do this look for you. So this is kind of a good standard whip it out for any occasion kind of look. I'm actually going to the hairdressers today um, to get my roots done before the wedding. Ah, we leave in less than a week. Uh, so apologies for the really messy uh, ponytail, but I didn't wanna have to wash my hair and then go in and have it done again in the hairdresser. So you'll just have to put up with this. But I think this kind of look you could wear shopping, you could wear for a night out, you could wear it to work maybe if you have that kind of a workplace where you wear lots of makeup so if you want to see how to get this flattering wearable any occasion makeup look then just keep watching first up i am using benefits professional primer i feel like i haven't used this in a long long time kind of forgot how much i really like it it's a lot thicker than a lot of other silicone primers i've used and does a really great job of smoothing out those pores for my foundation today i'm using the it cosmetics cc cream this is the spf 51 i think this is medium it's a little bit too dark for me and i'm, I'm kind of struggling with the pump it's not oh there it goes and then i'm going to not so preciously just buff that in all over my face this is a really really easy product to use it's got great coverage spf 50 very very easy and creamy to blend and yes that color is a little bit too deep for me but i am wearing false tan so we are a-okay for my concealer i'm using mac pro longwear in nw20 and this is another product with a pump that challenges me i find this so stressful it's like nothing and then all of a sudden explosion of everything and i'm going to use my middle finger to just dab that under the eyes around my nose and a little bit on my chin. And then I'm just gonna use my fingers to blend it out because you don't need brushes for everything. You can just use your fingers to tap, 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 tap it in until it's nice and blended. And then you take a brush and blend it in because turns out your fingers aren't so great at blending concealer after all. And then to set my skin, I'm gonna take my usual, my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the color light. And using my big fluffy MAC 138 brush, I'm gonna start applying that through the center of my face and basically anywhere I know I'm gonna get a bit shiny or oily. Next, I'm taking a new product for me. This is one of the Clinique Chubby Sticks in the color Hefty Highlight, like worst product name ever, but it's basically a highlighting crayon. I'm applying that to the tops of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and just a little bit above my eyebrows. And using my foundation brush, I'm just gonna gently dab this product in. I think this would cake if you worked it a little bit too much. So just very, very gently dab it in, but I love the effect it gives. Very, very natural sheen to the skin and very quick and easy to use. For my bronzer today, I'm using my Tan Organics little duo bronzer. Really, really like the color that this gives my skin. And just using that same MAC 138 brush, I'm gonna lightly dust that around the periphery of my face, around the edges of my face, under my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose. And then something I probably should have applied right at the start, it is the Nux Rev de Mille Lip Balm. Just popping this on now so it has kind of a few minutes to sink in before I put on my lipstick. And to finish the skin, I'm taking my Benefit Caralista. This is a new love all over again. I've had this product for absolutely years and I kind of go in and out of phases of using it and I am in a in love with it phase right now. It gives a beautiful peachy coral color to the cheeks and a gorgeous kind of golden highlight. So I'm applying it quite high on the cheekbones just so you really get that reflex right on the top of the cheekbone and exaggerate them, which is always good. Moving on to the eyes. For my primer today, I'm using the Balms Put A Lid On It and I am popping that on with my fingers all over the eyelids and also running that through my eyebrows just so that my brow pencil lasts a bit better. Speaking of brow pencil, today I'm using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Caramel and I'm just using the spoolie to brush all of the hairs upwards, get them going in the same direction and then use the pencil just to fill in any bald spots. Now that I'm dyeing my eyebrows, they're a little bit easier to fill in so I'm literally just kind of bulking them up, making them look a little bit more structured but not really changing the shape. And I'm just gonna set my brows in place with a little bit of the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and I'm just gonna comb all of the hairs upwards so they're all going up in one direction and then sweep over the top to kind of pop them back into place. I'm gonna be using MAC eyeshadows for this look today. I just kind of wanted to dig out one of my MAC eyeshadow palettes. And the first color I'm using is Satin Taupe, which is one of my all-time favorite MAC colors, but I haven't used it in a long time, so I really wanted to dig it out today. And I'm just packing that all over the eyelid with this flat eyeshadow brush, all the way into the crease as well. And then I'm taking a MAC 217 brush, which is a nice fluffy blending brush, and just going back and forth with kind of windshield wiper motions just to buff that edge away. Next, I'm taking Mylar from MAC, which 
is kind of an off-white like ivory color with a very soft satin finish and I'm painting that underneath the eyebrows as my brow bone highlight and also right in on that very inside corner of the eye towards the bridge of the nose to brighten up that area too. Next I'm taking Malt by MAC which is a beautiful kind of pinky brown beige color. It's an absolutely gorgeous transition or gradient color especially for these cooler tone colors and I'm popping that into the crease and up onto the brow bone. So this is the transition color between Satin Taupe and Mylar. It's just going to help those colors to fade into each other. And I'm using a really really soft fluffy brush to apply this so I don't put too much of the product on and again I'm getting that very very smooth transition. Back into Satin Taupe this time with a much smaller kind of flat dense brush and I'm going to pop that pretty much the whole way across the lower lash line and then take the same brush that I used for my concealer which is nice and fluffy just to buff the edge away. Next I'm going into Mystery by MAC which is a very cool toned deep matte brown colour on that same little smudgy brush and I'm going to pop that on the outside third of my eye on the lower lash line and then take that same fluffy brush that I used a minute ago just to buff that colour in and soften it. I'm going to take Mystery on that 217 brush and pop that on the outside corner and kind of outside, that outside v-shape I suppose of my eyelid, so the outside third of the eyelid and also into the kind of outside third of the crease, so creating that v or triangular shape out there, but again keeping the colours very very soft. For my inner corner highlight today I'm using Retrospec, which is my favourite kind of highlight colour to use with these like purpley brown tones, I just think it, that, that burnished gold works really really well, and just using that 217 brush again I'm just buffing that really well into the inside corner, for my eyeliner today I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 liner in Perversion which is a lovely very inky deep black colour. It's not a great product for the waterline though, it does tend to smudge but as an eyeliner like this it works really well. So I'm lining along my top lashes making it a little bit thicker on the outside corner and then taking a pencil brush I'm just smudging across that colour just to soften it in. You need a bit of patience with this, just take your time, you want it nice and soft and smudgy. And then for mascara today I'm using MAC Giga Black Lash. Super duper black, very very easy one to use, on me is very long lasting and gives just, just the right amount of definition and drama for every day. On my lips, shock horror, I'm using my Kiana lip pencil from Gorgeous Cosmetics, just gonna line my lips and fill my lips in with that colour too. And I have a new lipstick today, I'm trying out for the first time one of the Bite Matte Cream Lip Crayons in the colour Lecce and this is, it really really reminds me of MAC kind of sexy actually, maybe a little bit more matte and slightly more pink but absolutely beautiful, really comfortable and lasted really well on me too. And that's the finished look, so I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. As I said in my last video, I'm actually still on my holidays as you're watching this, so obviously this has been pre-recorded, but I'm still in Europe somewhere, I'm not back in Australia, so I probably have very limited access to a computer. So if you ask me questions in the comments down below and you don't see me replying, that's the reason why, but I will get back onto that as soon as I'm back in the country mid-June-ish, so I'm not ignoring you, I'm on my holidays. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I put out videos every Monday and Friday. Thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you very soon. Bye!